bottle. Before Navy veteran A.J. Silva found the psychedelic drug ketamine, other treatments failed to offer much help for his PTSD. I'd been on antidepressants. I can name a million of them that, I, that I've tried, and none of those seemed to work for me. After a family tragedy, A.J. became more desperate for help and decided to try the once controversial psychedelic treatment. I became suicidal. It was that that point that I realized that this was really a, a life or death situation that I was in. Because of the stigma surrounding psychedelics, AJ was anxious at first. The very first time coming here, truthfully, I was nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. But when the medicine started kicking in, AJ was thrown into a new psychedelic world where his troubles seemed to melt away. Things start to just fade away as if almost like I'm flying through landscapes of just like imagery of shapes and, and beautiful colors. And he says the effects of those psychedelic journeys have been nothing short of life-changing. I came out of that first infusion feeling like I was connected to a higher something than myself. I was connected to everything around me. Uh, it, was a, it was a feeling of purpose that I'd, I'd lost a long time ago. I know that I would not be here today if it wasn't for ketamine. Dr. Stephen Mandel has treated thousands of patients just like AJ at his clinic he founded with his son back in 2014. As a board-certified anesthesiologist for more than 40 years, Dr. Mandel has seen ketamine go from anesthetic to party drug and now to powerful psychedelic medicine. We're very new in exploring the therapeutic benefits of ketamine, but we know it works for depression. We know that it works for suicidality, amazingly. We know that it works for PTSD. With years of research now under its belt, ketamine is quickly gaining popularity across the country as a mental health treatment. In 2017, the American Psychiatric Association said that evidence suggests the drug is able to produce rapid and robust antidepressant effects. But intravenous ketamine is not yet FDA approved for treating depression. And like other medications, ketamine is not entirely risk-free. For those with personal or family history of schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, ketamine carries the risk of triggering a psychotic or manic episode. So they are excluded from clinic treatment. Ketamine also has the potential to cause dependence. Clinicians like Dr. Mandel make sure to say that the drug is not a magic bullet. You cannot get this out of a bottle. The ketamine is crucial, it's essential, but it isn't sufficient. Therapy and internal work are integral to producing long-lasting antidepressant results. For AJ, ketamine was the missing piece of the puzzle that finally got him to feel better. It's been one of the greatest gifts I've found in the last four years of my life. If I was told there is a medicine and you could live life again, like you can not just live life, but you could be excited about life again. I would, have, I would have turned to this a long, long time ago. The current psychedelic renaissance has ushered in enormous interest in substances like ketamine. Gone are the days when psychedelics were reserved for just illicit use. Now, people like AJ are finding hope with the therapeutic benefits of ketamine.